I'm at the beautiful new Kaufman Incubator Center on Holly Street in downtown Binghamton. Hello, I'm Fred X. Lander. Behind me are two new residents of the incubator, Gronk and BC. Of course, you recognize them from the late Johnny Hart's cartoon strip, BC, which is so beloved in our area and really around the world. The artist who completed the sculptures with me today, her name is Christine Barr. You've probably heard of her. She's a well-known local artist. And so I thank you, Chris, for joining us. Thank you. Chris, a few questions about this. How did this project come to be? Well, in the, about 2008, 2009, uh, a bunch of local artists were asked to decorate the BC Grand character for a public art <laughs> display in Binghamton, New York. And they eventually ended up being bought by various individuals for charities after they were on display. And that's how I got invited to do it. Tell me a little bit about your technique. How did you uh, create this? Well, I designed this project with the heart in mind, H-A-R-T plus the heart. And so the initial design is kind of different. All these different hearts filled with glittery objects were not the original design. But the more research I did into it and my influences of Afro and Caribbean art kind of influenced me into using the Mardi Gras beads as an all over decorative pattern, including the heart. Uh, including the heart and the uh, <coughs> design is part of some of that culture's uh, kind of religious and a kind of uh, my interest in religion's design as well as just the biological heart. I could carte blanche do whatever I wanted to do. A lot of projects were had to reflect the businesses or the companies that were <coughs> sponsoring them, but this uh, person said, do whatever you want to do. And so I incorporated the hearts and the name. Gave you a lot of freedom. Huh? Yeah, it's great. Well, thanks for telling the story of Gronk and BC here today. Thank you. Also with me today is Eric Kron, the program coordinator for The Incubator. Eric, thanks for joining me today. Thank you. Eric, tell me a little bit about why you wanted to bring Gronk and BC into The Incubator. Well, really for two reasons. Uh, initially, when I heard that Gronk needed a home, I really just wanted to protect uh, what's really become a symbol for our community. Mm -hmm. But even more than that, um, having that statue, that piece of art there, it's more than just a symbol of, of our community, but really an inspiration for our current and future companies here at the incubator. I really want people to look at that statue and say, hey, you know what? I can make my company or my dream happen. And just like the Hart family, those dreams can exist here in this area for decades to come. Eric Tell the audience a little bit about what the uh, mission of the incubator is. Yeah, so kind of like uh, how, what the word might um, imply, uh, we like to incubate companies, much like a chicken might incubate an egg. So what we do is essentially take companies in from any phase, from they might be at the ideation phase or they might be at the sales and marketing. But what we want to do is just mentor them, put them into the right networking ideas, put them into certain investment sort of uh, opportunities, and watch that company grow. We're at about 93% full, uh, and we've been here for 16 months. So we have 27 companies located within the incubator, and we actually have 17 co-working companies, which means they don't have offices, but they pay to work here, um, also working out of the incubator at this time. Eric, where are we? This is a beautiful outdoor space. Yeah, thank you. We're on the second floor of the incubator. Uh, this is actually just kind of a nice little patio area out here that we created um, really so that all the companies here can sit together, maybe eat lunch, maybe talk about whatever problems they might have and, and really work synergistically together. That's really the beauty of bringing all these companies together is that we don't separate them or segregate them. We actually want them to intermingle. And there is some kind of partnership or relationship with uh, SUNY Binghamton and, and uh, SUNY Broom, isn't there? Yeah, so we're very lucky at this incubator that um, between the efforts of Binghamton University, uh, Binghamton University Research Foundation, and SUNY Broom, um, everyone actually is part of this building here. So there's all sorts of classes, connections, networking opportunities between all of those schools. Good. Eric, thanks for joining us today. It was a wonderful tour of the incubator. Thank, Thank you, Fred. Okay. Folks, thanks for joining us today. And if you're thinking about buying or selling real estate, contact John Burns. He'd love to work with you. And if you need help in closing your transaction, call my office. Until next time, I'm Fred Exlander.